Welcome back to Wave of Dawker. Um, this is my review of Charm by Claro. It's also going to be in the week in music, but I went for nine minutes just because I love Claro and I was just very obsessed with this album. So yeah, let's just jump into it. Also, somehow my Spotify skipped over Thank You, so ignore like the cut in review of Thank You in between um, uh, Slow Dance and Juna or Terrapin. No, between Slow Dance and Terrapin. But uh, hope you guys enjoy Charm by Clara. Album number four of the week, the album of the fucking year, Charm by Claro. Just look at it. Just revel in her glory. Had to wear the swing, the, bleh, the sling hoodie for the first listen. I kept notes. Claro means so much to me. She is my absolute favorite artist. My Charm CD is on its way, as is my Charm t-shirt. She's the goat. She is, she's the best. She's, I love her. I love this album. Uh, I'm gonna go a little bit in depth. This might be the longest I've gone on an album. I was thinking of doing a separate video, but that just seems like too much. I have the weekend music. Why do the separate video when I can just do a single review on the weekend music? So let's just let's just go song by song and just talk about it. I mean, this album was fantastic. Ten tracks. It's just let's just go into it. track one. Nomad. Uh, I'm just gonna read my notes. This just sounds nostalgic, and to open with this is so interesting. I was actually really surprised that this is the opening track, considering it was one of the singles. Um, but it does strike that nice balance between the two moods in this, and it does feel like a really good balance between the feel of immunity and the feel of sling. Like, the hook and the bridge and everything feel slingy, but the chorus is relatively closer to immunity. Just It, it begins to pick up the pace, but the opening is just so nostalgic, and like, I kind of like listened like 10 or 15 when it first came out, that really like, it kind of like hit me, like that, that first opening really got me. Um, Touch Starved and Shameless, clocked me, terrible. I really, that gets me. Uh, rather be alone than a stranger, like come on. Rather wake up alone than be reminded of how it was a dream this time. Come on, you're fucking me up, Claire. Uh, like I said, such nice balance in this track. Every time I see someone new, I just think of you. I just said, fuck my life. Yeah, fuck my life. Final word, 10 out of 10, I love you, Claire. Nomad, probably my favorite at this point just because I've listened to it the most. Either this is sexy to someone, but I can definitely see some tracks I'll talk about later usurping that but um yeah nomad just so good uh track two sexy to someone uh probably gonna be my most listened song in 2024 it just has that like repeatable feel similar to amoeba off of sling similar to bags or sophia off of immunity similar to you know pretty girl off of diary zero zero one like it just has that repeatability like it's not it doesn't like dirty your palate at all you can listen to it over and over again um, like I have said, ame amoeba e catchy, great chorus, relatable, sort of sad, but still get you going. I want to be sexy to someone, is that too much to ask? Like, it has, you know, like, that's, like, such, like, a, almost, like, a universal feeling, but it's being packaged, and it's, like, such a upbeat, like, such catchy song. Her first single to release off of this, listen to it, like, 30 times in a week. I love it. Final word, 10 out of 10. It's, it's sexy to someone. Track three, Second Nature, acapella and laughter at the start. That really was, like... When I heard that, I knew that I was in for, like, the best album ever. Like, that's just, I don't know. That's just, it's such, like, a personal touch. And to know that, like, Claire's in, like, such a, she's in, like, a better place now compared to her last, you know, three projects. Like, she's feeling happier. She's feeling more herself. To hear that kind of open to a track, it's just so, I don't know. It's very parasocial of me, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm so happy for her. And that song, that opening just really gets that, you know, feeling. Uh, my train of thought destroyed such like a repeatable like hook just talking about you know moments with a partner moments with someone that you really like and they do something and then you're just kind of lo you're lost in thought just because you focus on them i get that a lot uh instrumental so boppy simple repeatable verses key change is fantastic final word 10 out of 10 i was writing that down with like 15 seconds left and then the clarinet like closer bumped in and i was like damn dude she's she's on another level right now she's tapped in this is fucking like 2013 LeBron James, I'm telling you. Uh, four, Slow Dance, Crazy Queen Piano, and more acapella, great hook. Um, the piano reminded me of, like, Pokemon piano. And that's just because I'm Pokemon brain and I play Pokemon a bunch, but it just has that kind of, like, you can listen to it for hours, and it just has, like, you're just, like, you know, sitting there looking at your Pokemon in your party, and you just, you're just, you're, like, you're, you're zoning out in Pokemon, but then you're just kind of jamming to the tune in the background. Like, this has that feel, like, it's just so catchy. Um, it can't be over, I remember everything. 10 out of 10, Piano Rules, this song, I just thought was fantastic, Slow Dance, just so great, oh my god. Next up, uh, Thank You, another great start to this track, she just knows how to open these tracks really well, 
Um, I heard, I heard there's a lot of lyrics for this. Like, this whole thing was just, like, a really, like, with the piano. But sometimes I wonder if you were the one. I put my pride on the line. When I met you, I knew it. I thank you for your time. Sometimes I want somebody to see me. Another great bridge. Um, this one's just great. Another good mix of immunity and um, sling. I feel like similar to Nomad, just like that kind of mix. Um, a lot of this feels like, like I'd say like a majority of these songs is like, leans more immunity toward immunity production, but a lot more sling narratives and lyrics. Maybe that's just me, but I don't know. I just, I love just the fusion that she's developed in, at this point in her career where she's just, she's, you know, this is her, you know, third studio project, fourth overall project, and she's just at this point where she's able to just feel comfortable with the merger. I don't know. I'm just, I love it. Uh, number five, Terrapin. Uh, incredible percussion and piano to open it up. Um, I guess I don't cry. I guess I don't shy as well. Piano is crazy. Uh, background vocals, super funky track. Terrapin, I, I, wrote, I wrote the least about Terrapin, but I definitely really, I mean, I enjoy every track on this, but I don't know, this is much more of like a jammy track to me, just like melody wise. Like the lyrics weren't really getting me as much just because it was kind of, it felt a little muddled at some points, but I'm not gonna complain. I, I really, I don't care. It, it, it's, it's, it's incredible. Uh, number six, Juna, jaw dropped to the open. Um, I was just, I was just stunned. And it flowed really well from Terrapin and the Juna. Uh, mixing is perfect. Um, this is unbelievable. I'm like flying through the sky. Yeah, like the, the melody and just instrumental in this is just ridiculous. Like it just felt so airy. And I was just at points, I was just like, damn, like this is just incredible. Uh, come to me ready. You make me wanna, you make me wanna. Uh, with you, there's no pretending. Uh, man, that bridge is so dope. Final word, 10 out of 10. Claire, you have outdone yourself. This is the track. Like, I mean, obviously all these tracks are just she's innovating within herself, but this is the one where I'm just like, like this, we haven't heard anything like this from her before. It's just, it's so awesome to hear something like this from her. Um, number seven, Add Up My Love. Jumping right in, like it just, it, it, it gets going as soon as the track starts. I choose a day, you went away. Um, was it enough? Was it ever enough? Do you miss my laugh? Oh God, Bridge is fantastic, Clarinet is dope. Add Up My Love. Um, probably my favorite at this point. But then, I mean, the track that follows also really got me. But yeah, Adam, my love, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, Echo, snazzy intro, great drum lead in. You're the only one that knows. Super spacey and echoey, uh, like, obviously. Our love is meant to be shared. Some murky mixing. Like, I heard vocals were a little bit lost, but I imagine that was kind of intentional just with the way that the rest of the track was going. Uh, background vocals added so much. Love hearing something like this from her. Uh, very 90s vibe, like it reminded me of that one broadcast compilation album I listened to, like that synth is just like, or like the synthy piano is just super like late 90s, early 2000s indie, like I just really dig that. Our Love Goes Nowhere, that fucked me up. 10 out of 10, grew on me as it went on, like initially, yeah, like I said, a little bit murky mixing, but like at this point I'm just like, dude, like come on. Um, 9, Glory of the Snow, uh, piano's Jazzy Bell ask. I don't know what I, I meant, I meant kind of like it felt like I could hear it in like a like a saloon like it just kind of had that like dan like i don't know it just had that kind of snazzy sort of like like i could see it playing in a saloon i don't know if that makes any sense uh the one that leads me to you when i cry i want to give you a ring that fucked me up as well uh i said man the production is killer final word claire please do this forever 10 out of 10 like another track where i'm just like hearing her in this sound is just so like damn like that's incredible i'm just so happy that She's in a place right now where she feels comfortable making music like this and she's happy. And just getting this combination of immunity and sling is just like, so what a great fusion. And then track 10, Pier 4, uh, sling S guitar. I mean, she said it was gonna be the most devastating track. You were just playing dumb, close is not close enough. So sling, slow devastating, I said that. Like it just has that feel. Like she said, like it's compared to Alewife because it's another, you know, location in New England where she grew up, Pier 4 in New England. Um, I feel like it's, I get that comparison just because of the location, but this feels definitely like mainly slingy to me as opposed to immunity. Uh, playing moments where there was a touch, bridges the final twist of the knife. Um, yeah, I mean, Claro, you have been my favorite artist for like the last like five years and you have outdone yourself. I'm gonna listen to this another, you know, 60 times. I'm, this, is the only, this is gonna be the only thing I listen to for like next week. And I'm cool with that because this album was incredible. 
Uh, I went on for eight minutes about this. This will probably be in the week music. I don't really care. I might do a separate video. I might just make like post this as a separate video as well, but like, <sighs> thank you, Clara. This album was fantastic. It's superseded every one of my expectations. I am, I'm just so happy that there's new Clara from to listen to. And as a sexy to someone, no matter, you know, I could have been fed with that for like another year, but um, this album was incredible. You're not watching this, but I'm totally glazing right now and being parasocial, but I'm just like, I love your music. And I love this album. And I'm just so thankful that it's out and I can listen to it as much as I want. One gajillion out of 10. Uh, I'm gonna fill up the screen with numbers. That was the best album I've listened to in a long, long time. And that's just because I'm a Claro Glazer. And I hate using that term, but I'm going on for a while. You know, some people call me a Glazer. I'm just a fan. I love Claro. I'm gonna stop talking now. Nine minutes, that's almost an entire video. But yeah, it's gonna be making music and a separate video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video, but also get the album five. So peace out. And also like and subscribe and also onto the next album. Charm by Claro. Best album to listen to since my life. All right, peace out and next album.